Can you take the Bergen's test from abroad or do you have to physically come to Norway if you want to sit the exam? And what exactly is the registration process? How are you supposed to sign up for the exam? And how much is the registration fee? If you are looking to take the Bergen's test, then this video will surely add some value as I will be answering some of these practical questions related to the exam. What's cooking sapiens? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Erhem and I'm a fourth year medical student at the University of Oslo in Norway. On this channel, I share stuff about life as a medical student here in Norway, as well as other valuable stuff such as productivity and effective studying based on science and evidence. So if you are up for topics like this, then make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. In the two previous videos, we have talked about what exactly is the Bergen's test and for whom this is relevant. We have also talked about how or what exactly the exam structure is for both the oral and the written part of the Bergen's test. So in this video, I'll be going through some of the common questions or some of the common practical questions related to the, to the Bergen's test. And if you have any more questions about that, then you can just check out the official website of the Bergen's test, which will be linked down in the description box below. And since time is the most precious thing in the world, you will also find the timestamps to this video in the description box below. So you can feel free to skip around if you want to. And now let's get straight to business. When and where are the written and oral exams conducted? Now, if you are in Norway, then you can take the Bergen's test at almost 14 different locations, such as Oslo, Trondheim, Bergen, Savanger, Oskid, etc. And also the Bergen's test or the written part of the Bergen's test is conducted almost three times every single year. So three sessions, the first one around January, second one around March, April, and the third one around September, October. The written exam can also be taken abroad in your home country, for example, and I will come back to this in a moment. So stay tuned for that. On the other hand, the oral part of the Bergen's test is taken at six different locations compared to 14 different locations of the written part of the Bergen's test. And these locations are Oslo, Bergen, Savanger, uh, Trondheim, Trumse and Oresund. The oral exam is normally conducted three weeks after the written exam and just like the written exam is also conducted thrice a year. So January uh, and then March, April session and then we have the September, October session. And again, the oral exam can also be taken from abroad or from your home country so that you don't have to fly all the way to Norway just to sit this very exam. More about that in a moment. And it's extremely important that you check out the registration deadlines and the exam dates on the official website of the Falk Universität, which I have linked in the description box below. How exactly are you supposed to sign up for the Bergen's test? Now, it's a very simple process, nothing complicated. All you do is that once the registrations open up, you simply go to their website, their official website, which I have linked in the description box below. So you simply go there and follow the steps that are shown over there. It's a very simple process. Now let's quickly have a look at the money aspect of the Bergen's test. So the price varies between the written and the oral exams. The written part costs around 2000 Norwegian kroners, which corresponds to approximately $240, whereas the oral examination is a bit cheaper and costs around 1000 Norwegian kroners, which is approximately 110 US dollars. However, the prices might be a bit higher if you are taking the Bergen's test from abroad or from your home country. And uh, now let's talk about that. Can you take the Bergen's test from abroad? Luckily enough, yes, you can. And this procedure is a teeny tiny bit more time consuming compared to if you are taking the exam from Norway, but I'll break down this procedure for you and divide it into five simple steps. The first question is where exactly are you supposed to take the Bergen's test in your country? So you need to find an authorized institution in your country, and this could be any one of the following three. Firstly, a Norwegian embassy in your country or abroad. Secondly, a Norwegian consulate. And lastly, a Norwegian church abroad. There are also a few international universities which are um, authorized to take the Bergen's test or to conduct the Bergen's test. But in that case, you would first have to send an email to the Folk Universitet, which is a Norwegian institution which is officially responsible for the Bergen's test here in Norway. So you need to first send them an email and ask them if that, if, if there are any particular universities in your region or in your country which are authorized to conduct the Bergen's test. So step one, find an authorized institution in your country which can conduct the Bergen's test. Once you have identified an official institution in your country which can conduct the Bergen's test, the next step is head to that institution and ask them or request them to conduct the Bergen's test for you. 
And normally this should not be a problem. They do say yes if they're authorized to conduct the exam. So that's step two. Go to the institution and ask them if they can take the exam or if they can conduct the exam for you. Step number three, once the institution has said yes to your request, then they or the institution has to send a confirmation letter or a confirmation form to uh, bergenstest at fu.no, which is the official email address for Folk Universität here in Norway. So the institution has to send them an email with the confirmation letter or the confirmation form and informing them about the fact that they will be conducting the exam for you. The confirmation form which the institution is required to fill out will be linked in the description box below as well. Step four is where the candidate himself has to fill out the application form or the official application letter and send it to the same email address as before, uh, bergenstest at fu.no. And by doing this, you are practically applying to take the Bergens test. And the last step for taking the Bergens test from abroad is that you will simply receive an email or a confirmation email from the Norwegian Language Council. And there you simply follow the steps that will be dictated in the, in the, in the, in the email uh, for the confirmation and the payment of the exam fee. So the five steps for taking the Bergens test from abroad are as following. Firstly, find an authorized institution in your country. Secondly, go to the authorized institution and ask them or request them to conduct the Bergens test for you. Thirdly, ask the conduction or ask the um, institution to send an, a confirmation email to uh, bergenstest at fu.no. Step number four, you as a candidate fill out the application form and send that to the same email address to apply for the test. And lastly, just follow the confirmation letter or just follow the um, email that you receive afterwards by the Norwegian Language Council and just pay for the exam and your registration will be done. Registration rules and refund possibilities. So firstly, the registration is binding. So once we have registered for the exam and the deadline has passed, then you cannot ask for a refund because the deadline is automatically gone. However, if you sign up for the exam and then later on change your mind before the registration closes, then you can get a, then you can get a complete refund for uh, that you have paid. And keep in mind, obviously, that the registration is only possible through their official website, which is linked in the description box below. Is it possible to get an example test for exam preparation? Yes, fortunately it is possible, but however, unfortunately, it's not free of cost. So you also have to buy these pass paper questions or exam sets if you want to practice those. And to be very honest, I highly recommend investing in these papers because in this way, you can just test yourself before the exam and see if you are practically um, in the situation or in the position to take the exam. And the, the questions or the, these question papers also come with the answer sheets. So this helps you to really evaluate your performance and see if you are really prepared for the exam. Because if you are not, then you can simply not sign up for the exam and practice Norwegian even more. And hence you can save tons and tons of money. After how much time do you receive the exam results? So for the written part of the exam, you get your exam results after almost 14 weeks and it's not possible to get the exam results before that. So you cannot request an earlier evaluation. And secondly, for the oral exam, it's, it's much, much quicker and you get your answer or you get your um, result after almost two weeks, which means 14 days. That's our app for today, Sapiens. I hope you found the video useful. And also you might want to check out this video where I talk about my personal journey or how I got into medical school here Norway. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.